In this video, I'm going to talk about sharing learning intentions and success criteria with students through Google Classroom and how to give feedback based on the success criteria. As you can see, I have a classroom created already. It's for my second year English. So I'm going to start in classwork. I want my students to write a book review of a novel they have read. As you can see, I have two topics in here already, media studies and poetry. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on create a topic and I'm going to create a topic called the novel. This is where I'm going to put everything that I want to do with the novel in here. The next thing I want to do is share my learning intention and success criteria with the students. So I'm going to click on create and material. And the title is my learning intention, which is we are learning to write a book review. Okay. I'm then going to add my success criteria because I have designed them already in a Google Doc. So you can see here, I have my learning intention success criteria, write a book report. I'm going to click on that and click on add. I'm then going to come over here and I'm going to select my topic and I have created the topic, the novel. So everything to do with the book report, I want to come under the topic of the novel. So I then am going to hit post. Now see my learning intention is posted under the novel. I can notify my students that it is there via um, an email, or I can discuss this with my students, maybe via Google Meet in a live classroom. It, it's up to you. The next thing I want to do is I want to create an assignment because I want the students to actually write a book review. So I'm going to click create and assignment. And the title is to write a book review. And then I'm going to copy in some instructions. So write a book review about the most recent book you've read. Don't forget to check in with the success criteria for pointers and what should be included in your book review. I could add a document that I have previously created or I can click on create and I'm going to do the create one. So I'm going to click on create docs and this generates an untitled Google document for me. I'm going to call it book report and then I'm going to paste in the instructions that I have already given the students in the assignment. Okay, so once I've created that, I can come back into my classroom and I have here students can view file. I don't want students to be able to view the file. I want the students to be able to write a book report. So I don't want them to be able to edit it. I want to make a copy for each student. So I'm going to click on make a copy for each student. And that means each student can write an individual book report and submit it back to me. I then come over here and I select a due date. So I'm going to say that the due date is May 7th and I'm going to post it under the topic of the novel. I'm going to click assign here. And I can now see that under the novel, I have given students an assignment of writing a book review and I've given them the learning intention and the success criteria. My students will now go and do the assignment and submit it back to me. When my students have returned their book review to me, I will see it here. So if I click and open the assignment, I can see that two students have turned it in. So if I click on that, that brings me in to the two students work that have turned it in. So I'm just going to open up the first students work here and I'm going to see what they've written. I can first see that over here on the right hand side, I have a private comment. The student says, hi, miss, I've read two books. Should I send in a book review for the other book too? I can reply to them. Um, 
as I wish. Yes, that would be great. And I can click post on that and that will reply directly to that student. Now I'm going to look at their book review. So I can see it's quite a short book review. I'm going to base it on the learning intention and success criteria that I shared with students earlier. So for the introduction, I asked students to capture the reader's attention by the use of questioning and to name the book and the author. So if I come back in to the student's work, I can see here that in the introduction, this student has said, I read a Limony Snicket book for my book report. So this student hasn't actually named the book. They're, they've done half a job on giving the introduction. So I might want to give some feedback on that. Up here in the suggestion mode, I have two options. I have editing and I have suggestions. So I can give feedback in two ways. I'm going to look at the suggestion one first. So for example, if I click on suggestion here, the student said, I read a lemony snicket book. So I'm going to suggest putting in the bad beginning by lemony snicket for my book report. Okay. So I can do that for weaker students. I can also add comments. So I'm going to click on the suggestion mode and get rid of it. And then I'm going to click on editing to give feedback for the rest of the document. So coming back into my learning intention and success criteria again, I can see in the evaluation, I've asked them for a minimum of two personal opinions and a reason for their opinion. So when I come back into this student's book review, I see that this student has said, I liked this book, but they haven't given a reason why. So I'm going to highlight, I liked this book, and I'm going to click on this little plus here to add a comment to give some feedback. So I'm going to ask the student to tell me more. <clears throat> why did you like it? And I'm going to comment, okay? This student has also said it was written in a different way to other books I've read. So in a different way, but I'd like to know what the student meant by this. So I'm going to give them more feedback and ask a question. How was it different? <coughs> I'm going to give an example prompt. Um, for example, did the author use humor. And I'm going to comment on that. So I'm going to continue giving that student feedback based on my success criteria here that I have given the students. I can also refer to the success criteria. I can add in some comments at the end as well. And I can say, please look over the success criteria and check what you have written. Okay, when I'm happy with all the feedback that I've given the student, I can hit return or I can return multiple submissions. So I can, if I come out of this, I can actually click on the forward and I can go and select the next student and I can give that student feedback when I've that feedback given and when I'm happy that I've given feedback to all my students, I can click on the down arrow here and return multiple submissions or just return a single submission if I'm anxious to get it back to the student in good time. So, so when I click, I'm just going to go back here to the student that I have put comments on. And when I click on return for that, that will return that to that student. So when I want to return it, I can click on return and that will return it to that student. I can click return and that student will see that. Okay, so that's it. I hope you found that useful.